Have you ever spilt your coffee? Maybe it's because you were running late to work, and as you ran, waves built up in the cup until it just spilt out the side. Or maybe it's because you stopped too suddenly, and as you stopped, the coffee just kept on going. It doesn't really matter what the reason is, somebody's covered in coffee, and you've lost all your valuable caffeine. Now, you could just slow down, but who has time for that? So what I'm interested in is what's the fastest way to get a cup of coffee from point A to point B without spilling a drop. That's what my work looks at, except I don't really have a cup of coffee. Rather, my cup is a set of magnets, and my coffee is some of the coldest atoms in the universe. But it all works the same. If I shake it up or I stop too suddenly, I lose my coffee. And because I make it here and I need to use it over here, if I spill it in between, I can't do any science. So I'm about trying to answer this question. What is the fastest way to get across the room? Maybe by changing the minute details of how I move it, I can go faster and faster. So that's what I did. I spent days trying to do this. And I realized really quickly I was bad at it. Not only did I get bored and distracted really quickly, but I couldn't really deal with changing two things at once. If I did, I'd just get really confused really quickly. And because I had hundreds of things to change, I was getting nowhere quick. So I kind of gave up, and I outsourced my work to a computer program, an artificial intelligence. Now this worked much like I do. It tried its best guess on how to do something, looked at the result, how much coffee did it spill, and then tried to create a better model of how the system works. It used that to then try another guess, getting faster and faster in each iteration. So I let this loose on my system, and the results were astounding. In a mere afternoon, it went from taking 20 seconds to faster than a blink of the eye. This then tells us really interesting physics about how quantum mechanics works with temperature and systems that are fast moving and haven't really had time to relax yet. But what I find more interesting is the AI, the artificial intelligence. That is the perfect lab mate. They don't get tired, they don't get sick, and they can deal with complexity more than anyone in this room can. So what I'm here to tell you today is the artificial intelligence is already better at physics than you. You've just got to get it to work for you.